issue of immigration is an issue that is a serious one, one that we have to tackle as a country, one that we have not uh, brought forth policy that modernizes our immigration system. And there is some huge problems in our immigration system. There are individuals who are, uh, like my family, like myself, here without status and don't have a way to regularize themselves. Uh, we do have a border that um, needs to be modernized, that there um, is issues there. And yet, um, everything that I heard tonight uh, was reduced uh, specifically from Trump to fear mongering. And um, when the question was not around immigration, immigration was brought in. When um, there was time that they was asked a question around uh, deportations and undocumented people, um, the an there was no answer. The first couple of minutes when President Biden was just stumbling on his words or his thoughts, or there were some, some points where he paused uh, to think. And I think reality is that President Biden is getting older. Uh, reality is that President Biden has always had this issue. Um, we know that he has, uh, he stutters. And um, I don't, I don't want to hold that against him. President Trump, for a follow-up question I have, um, after a jury convicted you of 34 felonies last month, you said if re-elected you would, quote, have every right to go after, unquote, your political opponent. Yeah, so I don't think we've ever been this close to nuclear war, at least in my lifetime. Um, I definitely think that the world was a much more peaceful place under Trump's leadership. He has a very uh, strong personality, a, a no, you know, he, he's not going to mess around. And so if you are messing around, he's going to come deal with you quickly and, and, and decisively. And so I think that as rightfully said, that our pull out of Afghanistan was terrible and it was botched. And I think that gave a lot of confidence to different world leaders that are bad actors. And I think that's why we have different wars happening right now. Um, they, they kind of bickered a little bit in, in the middle of it. Um, so I thought that was pretty interesting. And, and the fact that they let it go on as, as long as what it was, and you really saw that what Biden said, it got under Trump's skin. So I, I think that was pretty interesting. And, and he showed his true colors. Uh, my first thoughts, you know, just walking into the debate and walking out have been two different perspectives. I came in thinking, okay, this is going to be like the last debate that we saw between Biden and, and Trump back in 2020. And, and I felt like it was to an extent. However, it shifted. I think there was good aspects about the debate, especially when they muted the mic. There was a lot less nonsense in terms of uh, back and forth, and you were able to hear their perspectives equally. So that was uh, actually refreshing for someone who's looking at the policies and what they're trying to implement when they t ultimately get elected, whichever candidate they might be.